Hi, my name's Adam. I'm a medical student. Can I check your name and date of birth? Yep, it's Stephen Smith, and I was born on the 6th of the 5th, 1985. Today I need to carry out an examination of your genitals. That'll involve me examining your penis, testicles, and the surrounding area. One of the ward staff members will be present throughout the examination, acting as a chaperone. Would that be okay? Yes, that's fine. What I need you to do now is take off your trousers and underwear. There's a sheet in there for you to cover yourself up with. Lie down on the bed and let me know when you're ready and I'll come back in. Do you have any pain anywhere before I begin the examination? No, I don't have any pain. I'm just going to have a feel for any abnormalities. Let me know if it's uncomfortable and I can stop. Okay, we're all done now, you can get dressed. Today I examined Mr Smith, a 64 year old male. On general inspection, the patient appeared comfortable at rest. On close inspection of the penis and scrotum, there were no abnormalities identified. On palpation, there was no abnormality on either testicular body noted. To complete my assessment, I'd perform a full abdominal examination and request investigations including testicular ultrasound scan and a panel of relevant blood tests. Hey everyone, I'm Lewis, the founder of Geeky Medics. I just wanted to briefly mention a few additional tests you might want to consider in the context of either suspected fluid within the scrotum or testicular pain. So the first test I'm going to talk about is transillumination. And what this basically involves is applying a light source to the scrotum and then simply observing to see does the swelling fill with light, which is what is commonly referred to as transillumination. The presence of transillumination, as clearly demonstrated in this video, indicates that there is a fluid component to the scrotal swelling. And the most common cause of this, in the context of scrotal swelling, is hydrocele. Okay, I'm now going to briefly discuss two additional tests you might want to perform in the context of scrotal pain. When a patient presents with scrotal pain, you should always consider testicular torsion in your differential diagnosis. This is a surgical emergency for which rapid recognition and referral are essential. There are some specific findings on scrotal examination which are typically associated with testicular torsion. It should be noted that these clinical signs are neither sensitive nor specific enough to rule a diagnosis of testicular torsion in or out. Further imaging, such as Doppler ultrasound, plus or minus surgical exploration are required in any patient in whom testicular torsion is suspected. The chromasteric reflex can be assessed by stroking the skin that overlies the inner part of the thigh. Normally, stroking this area of skin causes the chromaster muscle to contract, and that results in elevation of the ipsilateral testicle towards the inguinal canal. Absence of the chromasteric reflex is associated with testicular torsion. However, as I described earlier, 
It should not be relied upon in isolation for ruling the condition in or out. Prenz test is used to clinically differentiate between acute epididymitis and testicular torsion. The test involves elevating the testes to assess the impact on the patient's pain. A reduction in pain is associated with epididymitis. Although this test may provide some clinical value, it is vastly inferior to Doppler ultrasound in ruling testicular torsion in or out. Okay, that's everything for today. If you'd like to learn more, make sure to subscribe to be the first to know when we release new videos. If you enjoyed this video, check out the Geeky Medics collection of over 500 OSCE stations and put your OSCE skills to the test. You can practice with friends, create your own study group, or team up with another member of the Geeky Medics community with our OSCE Match feature. Sign up today to access our selection of free OSCE stations.